Wolfick tees the ball up, speaks to his teammates, holds his hand in the air. The referee's ready to blow the whistle, and we're ready to get this big game underway. Big game, a master of understatements tonight, Andrew. And there's the kick, and it's taken by Brent Coleman on the five-yard line. Comes out of there. He's out across the 25, out to the 28-yard line. They'll mark the ball down. The Panthers begin this football game first and ten. Focused on their job. A lot of butterflies out there, a lot of adrenaline right now. Josh Justice to the left. There's the handoff to Brent Coleman. Man, he's hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss right away. He was hit in there immediately. Jeff Zellin, one of the uh, defensive linemen for Beachwood, and in the scouting report. Second down and 11. The ball on the 28-yard line of the Panthers. They're looking for Coleman out of there. There's the snap to Doug Powers. And flags fly immediately. Motion undoubtedly. We'll see if somebody on the pike of the line jumped. And it will be. Yeah, that's going to be off. Encroachment. Good job, Frosty. You were on it, buddy. Six Panthers. Just underway here. Less than a minute played in this football game. Pinkville in the wishbone. Kyle Bow split to the left. Hand off right in the middle to Coleman. And he'll get about a yard on the play. About yard, two yards, just straight up behind the fullback noose. And he looks like the third down and five. The 34-yard line. Panthers out of the huddle quickly. Jay King hustles up on the ball. Doug Powers fakes the handoff in the middle and slips. He slipped and fell. They were trying to run the option that time. And Powers in one of the muddier places in the middle. Right leg. He was running right. His right leg just took off, and it was the way it went. There's Kyle Bow with the kick. Gets a nice one off. The ball goes to 44 for the Tigers. That's Brian Bishop. Turns the left side and doesn't get much. And there's a flag. And a flag down on the play. Frosty, did you see what happened? They didn't see it, but it goes on. 9.56 is what shows on the clock now. They're in the I formation, put a man in motion. That's Bishop in motion. Hand off to the first man, hit right at the line of scrimmage. Possibly a yard on the play. Not much, as he was met right in the middle. Derek Deskins, Derek Fliggett. Heck of a runner for Beachwood. Hit the line quickly and was backed up quickly and snowed me completely out. Double slot formation. Receivers right and left. Man in motion. That's Bishop. There's the snap. Back to pass. Looks out to his right. Has a man out there, and he's taken down for about a two-yard gain. He'll be, they'll show the 32, 33-yard line. They'll, they'll mark it on the 33-yard. They'll tackle. Brent Coleman over there very quickly. Wolfick lined up straight behind the quarterback, Wisher. There's the snap. There's the pitch back to Bishop. Left side, first down, and then some. He'll get out across the 40-yard line to the 41. Brian Bishop carries for the first down for the Tigers. Give Bishop eight yards on in between the 41 and 42 yard lines. They have the single back set, double slots, two split ends. There's the snap. Hand off to Bishop. He's out across the 40. Looking at the 45, now the 50 yard line. Very close to a first down. We'll see where they mark it. It's hard to say because the official went down. He's got no clue where the 744 in the first quarter. Beachwood in the wishbone. Both ends tight. There's the handoff, and there's the first down. That was Bishop. Took right off up the middle and moves the ball to the 45-yard line. First down, Beachwood. Once again, the one back, double slot with two split ends. Wisher puts Bishop in motion. There's the snap. He's dropping back in the pocket. He's looking. He's looking. Finds Bishop on the sidelines and overthrows him. It goes out of bounds. He, he, he shows as the fullback. Seems to be Brian getting all the work tonight as they use John as the blocker. Bishop split out as a flanker on the left, and he goes out and... ...employs to help you through this busy season. Call Temporary Solutions today at 433-1006 or stop by their offices on 2nd Street in downtown Pikeville. The first play after the timeout, the Tigers eat up a big hunk of yardage as they give the ball to. With no trouble running against the Pikeville defense, they, they've been unable to contain or stop up the middle. Beachwood in the I formation, both inside. There's the handoff to the first man through. That's John Bishop out of the fullback position. And he's right up the middle there for another hunk of yardage. He'll move the line. 
Bushwood showing the wishbone formation, both ends tight. There's the snap, there's the handoff to Brian Bishop, and he gets the first down. First down, Beachwood inside the Pikeville 20-yard line. Beachwood's offense, guys, it's so diverse. You've already, you know, it's him because you just can't key up on one thing. Really a, a very diverse offense. The eye formation, the wishbone, the power eye, the double slot. There's the pitch back to Wolfick out of the backfield, and he moves the ball to about the 11-yard line. Adam Wolfick. We've heard his name before. We've called his. Joyce and Frosty Davis with the state semifinals, Pikeville and in Beachwood. Beachwood has the ball. Second down. There's the handoff to Adam Wolfick. Hits the line. Doesn't get enough for the first down. I do not believe Diddy Frosty. No, he's going to be about the two you needed here. They've got third down and about a yard and a half for the first down, and it'll be goal to go if they get it. There's the snap. The handoff to Wolfick. Looks as if he got it. He was met by Derek Vliggenhart, Jeremy Anderson, yeah, the initial contact by Andy Davis, I do believe, right in the middle there. No, no, no. It was, yes, it was. Andy Davis, 53. But it's good enough for a first down. Mentally sound in their blocking technique, and they stay with their block. Beachwood set. There's the handoff to Brian Bishop. Hits the line of scrimmage. Gets across the five-yard line. We'll see where they mark it. Unless he gets a very generous spot, he's only going to get about a yard or a half yard on the carry. What's showing in the first quarter? No score yet. Pikeville got the ball to begin the game. Down goal to go, just inside the five. They're out of the huddle now, up on the line. They go set. There's the handoff. The pitch back to Brian Bishop. He's trying to turn the left side. Look at it at the end zone. And no arms go up. The official says touchdown, Tigers. 4.05 in the first quarter. Brian Bishop runs the ball around the left side. Josh stepping into the end zone before he stepped out of bounds. Touchdown Tigers. Throat that time. They'll respond, I'm sure. Adam Wolfick is the kicker for the Tigers. Frosty Davis will make the call. Okay, Wolfick also doubles uh, offense and defense. Also, the kicker had a 37-yard field goal. Last week, splits the uprights on the extra point. 4.05 in the third quarter. Anytime. Bring your team to Jerry's Support with locations in Nitro and Kermit, West Virginia, and Lebron, Ashland, and South Mayo Trail, Pikeville, Kentucky. Grass equipment and steel chainsaws, building professional relationships through total support. The kickoff taken by Ben Howard on the five-yard line, and the kickoff brought to you by the men's corner in the Weddington Square for the finest in men's apparel. Their opening drive, certainly not what they wanted to start out with. See what they do now. They split Josh Justice wide to the left. The back's in the wishbone. There's Doug Powers, hands the ball to Todd McCoy. He'll get out across the line of scrimmage and get two or three yards on the play. That will bring up second down. Looks like they're going to give McCoy up. To the right, he'll be covered by Brian Bishop out there. Doug Powers under the center. Jay King takes the snap, hands the ball off. And there's not much there for Brent Coleman. He tries the left side of the line, and he'll get Jay King fires out of the huddle. The line joins in. We're ready to go again. Kyle Bow is split to the right. Seth McCoy tied on the other side. Powers is back to pass. He's got time back there. He's looking, looking, trying to right side. Hangs on to the ball. He'll take it himself, and he'll get up across the 25 to about the 28-yard line. Doug Powers, everybody was covered. Powers kept looking, kept looking. Great protection. Kyle Bow will stand on the 15-yard line to punt the ball away. To be Brian Bishop and Scott Coyle. Back to receive for Beachwood. There's the kick. Another nice one by Bo. It'll be taken by Bishop right on the 40-yard line. He'll drop back to the 37, turn the left side, and get the ball out to the 50-yard line. Beachwood gets another opportunity here. First to 10 from the 50. Hey, guys, Bo made a nice play. Beachwood in the one-back set with a double slot. Wide receivers each way. Wisher under center. Takes the snap, hands it off, and there's not much there for Coyle. That was number nine, Scott Coyle. A nice job for the top. Wisher sets the line. He's under center. Puts Brian Bishop in motion. Takes the snap. There we
was motion everywhere that time. The flag's flying. Wisher has the ball. He'll try it out of there himself. He's dropped for a loss. And I believe the, if I'm not mistaken, the line moved. Yes, the legal motion on the Tigers. There was a legal motion. A legal shift is actually the call because they had a player in motion and another man moved in the backfield. So a legal shift. Five was going to decline it after the two-yard loss. But uh, Michael almost jumped on it, but he was able to get it back and fill. They're down in 12. Beachwood in the I formation with the receiver to the right. Wisher has the ball, and he's looking for him out there to the right. Puts him on the move downfield. It's Brian Bishop, and he goes out of bounds as he pulls the ball in. The officials no looking at each other. Who knows where that, well, they're talking it over now. They can't decide whether to make the call or not. Neither guy. They're going to give him the catch down about the 25-yard line. These guys were in nowhere near in position to make that call, and it looked like uh, Bishop was out of bounds when he caught the football. It's going to go for a big game for the Tigers. They started looking at each other like, you make it, no, you make it, no, you make it. But a little confusion there that time. Beachwood goes set. There's the snap. There's the handoff to Wolfick. Right side. He'll get a little. He'll get a couple of yards. Looks like Wolfick's going to get about two. And again, Beachwood coming out in a heavy, unbalanced. Second down and eight yards to go. Brian Bishop will move wide to the right. Wolfick and John Bishop in the backfield. And Wishers back to pass. He's looking. He's under. under and he throws the ball downfield. Derek Deskins was in, I'm sorry, Jeremy Anderson in hot pursuit. I was all over my stuff. We had him well covered that time. Wisher moves Brian Bishop wide to the left this time. I formation for the backs. There's the pitch out to Wolfick. He's around the left side, first down and more. He gets the ball down inside. 15 at least it'll be more like the 10 yard line they'll put you can't get, do that against team the caliber of beachwood the longer they play the more confidence they gain john wisher puts bishop in motion there's the snap there's wolfick out of the backfield and he'll rumble and dig and drive into the end zone touchdown tigers nine seconds left to go in the first quarter beachwood has scored again it's 13 to nothing beachwood over pikeville Adam Wolfick, the tackle a man like uh, Mr. Wolfick. Wolfick, ready to kick for the extra point. There's the ball down, puts the left foot to it, right down the middle at nine seconds to go in the first quarter. Beachwood 14, Pikeville nothing. slot formation. Todd McCoy goes in motion and the flags fly. Todd McCoy in motion and so did a Pikeville lineman raised up a little early. That's going to go against the Panthers, I believe, procedure. Cost them five. It'll be first down and 15. They'll back the ball up. Do the elbow will split wide to the left. Ben Coleman to the right. Double slot formation. Chad Newsom the setback. There's the pitch out to Brent Coleman who came around and he will just get back to very near the change from the original. Remember the only thing you... Between Pikeville and Beachwood. Pikeville has dug a hole and they're trying to climb out of it now. They have the ball second down and 12 deep in their own territory. Britt Coleman goes in motion, gets the ball, tries the middle of the line, and he'll get about three or four yards on the play as he'll move the ball very near the 20-yard line. Now Pikeville obviously in a throwing situation. And that's what they line up in the double slot as, with Brent Coleman as the setback. There goes Jason England in motion. And Doug Powers on the option. Pitches the ball out to Brent Coleman, and it fell short of Coleman, and he was only able to fall on the ball and wrap it up before a Beachwood Tiger grabbed it on about the three-yard line, three or four-yard line to punt the ball away. 
Coyle and Bishop deep back for Beachwood. Bo gets another nice one out of there. It'll go across the 50 and will be taken by Bishop on the 47-yard line. He'll move it across midfield to the Panther 44-yard line, and that will be Beachwood first and 10. Beachwood has the ball first and 10 on the Pikeville between the 43 and 44. They're in the wishbone. They'll pitch the ball back to Adam Wolfick. He'll try the right side, and he'll get about four yards on the play as he'll move it to the 39-yard line of the Panthers. He's on the pitch, man. Second and six, 10 minutes to go in the first half. There's the handoff to Bishop. He tries the left side. One man misses him, and he's wrapped up over there. Jim Doug Charles. No, I'm sorry. Brian Sohn makes the stop for the Panthers. Ball laying a straddle to 35. There's the snap. The handoff to Wolfick. He's got the first down and more. He's taking it driving. Went through a whole pile of Pikeville Panthers all the way into the end zone. Four guys had a hold of him. Nobody could bring him down. And Beachwood scores again. 9-19 to go in the first half. Beachwood 20. Pikeville nothing. Adam Wolfick that time a 35-yard run straight up the middle. Attempt his third extra point attempt of the night. Wolfick 6'2 and 183. The left-footed kicker. He's also the kicker. Puts the ball down the toe to it. Hits the crossbar, but it goes through and it's good. 9-19 to go in the first half. Beachwood 21. Pikeville. before the half to get a little momentum going. Pivel needs to really get their heads up and get back in the game right here. They'll show the double slot formation again. Put Brent Coleman in motion. There's the snap. Doug Powers drops back to pass. Looks downfield. He's looking for Josh Justice. Justice is covered down there. And Brian Bishop and Brad Voss were all over him at the 30-yard line. Couldn't haul it in. That'll Just knock the football down so it's not intercepted. Mike Phillip on the line again. Second down and 10. Still the double slot. Jason England goes in motion this time. Powers back to pass once again. Two receivers going downfield to Todd McCoy. Couldn't haul it in. He had the ball on the 47-yard line and couldn't bring the ball in. That'll be third. Call 437-3989. Back at the Hamley Athletic Complex, Pikeville down by 21, third down and 10, Doug Powers drops back to pass. It's Ben Coleman out of the 49-yard line, and it's good, and Pikeville has a first down. About a 17-yard pick. Powers to Ben Coleman for the first down. Josh Justice will split to the left, Kyle Bow to the right. Todd McCoy goes in motion. As Brent Coleman is the setback. There's the snap to Powers. He's looking. Drops back in the pocket. Looks downfield and hits Jason England. And he went down and scooped the ball up in the grass at the 36-yard line. Now, Frosty. Mikeville moves up on the line. There goes Jason England in motion. Doug Powers hands the ball to Brent Coleman, and he's up out of there. He's out across the 50-yard line. He'll get to the 46. That's where they'll mark it down. A nice run, the biggest run of the body. We're now under eight minutes of the first half. Third down and five. Still the double slot. Jason England comes in motion behind Doug Powers. Powers is back to pass again. Looking downfield. Throws the ball to Jason Inger to Todd McCoy. Doug Powers to Todd McCoy on the 30-yard line. They move out of the huddle once again. They're staying with this double slot. Doug Powers back to pass again. Looks downfield. Looking at Josh Justice on the 20-yard line. Takes the ball inside the 20. His forward progress took him to the 18-yard line. Should be another Panther first down. And that also opens up the running game, guys, that we haven't been able to get going. That's right, Frosty Powers back to pass again. Looking downfield, four receivers downfield. Lost it the ball to Brent Coleman and just off his fingertips at the goal line. Pikeville with his fingertips. They're in the same formation. There's the snap. Powers is back again. He's under pressure this time. Just able to get rid of the ball before he was brought down. 
He was brought down by two Tigers in the backfield. Two flankers and a one-back set, and there they go. That's what they're doing right now. Brent Coleman, the lone setback. There's the handoff to Coleman right in the middle, and he gets nothing. Well, that, that was the draw play that Frosty just called, but I tell you, Beachwood very alert in there. 21 to nothing. Beachwood leads this one. Josh Justice right. Ben Coleman left. Powers is back to pass again. He's looking. He's under pressure. He delivers the ball, throws it under pressure, intercepted in the end zone. The ball was hauled in by Brian Bishop, I believe, in the end zone. Yes, it was. Brian Bishop intercepted the pass in the end zone. We're showing 6.04 to go in the first half. Pikeville turns the ball over. Beachwood leads. There's a snap and the handoff to Wolfick. He's up the right side of the line. He'll bring the ball out to the 25-yard line. Beachwood's ready to go again. Snap. Handoff. First man through. And he'll get the ball out within probably a yard of the first down. We'll see. I believe that was the ball straddle with the Tiger 30-yard line. There's the snap. The handoff to Wolfick. Right side. Big run in there. And he'll get at least eight yards on the play. I get seven yards on the play. Took a whole crowd of Panthers to bring him down. An impressive running back this uh, Wolfick is. Second and three of the 37-yard line. There's the snap. There's Bishop this time. He'll try the left side. He gets the first down and five more. He'll bring the ball to the 45-yard line. First and ten Tigers, their own 45. Wolfick takes year. First and ten Tigers at their own 45. There's the snap. Pitches the ball out to Wolfick. He's hit in the backfield. He was hit by Brian Stone and Matt Dawhair all the way around from the right defensive end position to bring him down. There goes Bishop in motion. There's the snap. Hand off to Wolfick right side, about uh, four yards on the play. Coach Bernie Berry, who coached Beachwood to their first state championship. Third down at the 50-yard line. Beachwood in the eye formation with a flanker and a wide out to the left. Flanker goes in motion. That is Bishop. Pitch out to Wolfick. There's the first down, and he'll flag one. Play. Out of bounds, and there's a flag down on the play. That should be in the holding territory. It, it, it's holder a cliff one. Pikeville's uh, dusted. Sidelines. We'll see what the man in the white hat has to say. This is a big, big series right here, guys. You know, Pikeville can ill afford to let Beachwood score again. Of course, we started out this way last week, but the only problem, we're not playing the Lynn camp. We've got a lot better team out here, and if Pikeville hopes to stay in this ball game, they've got to stop this drive and not let Beachwood score before the half. That'll make it third down and 14. That backs the ball up to the 41-yard line. Three minutes to go in the first half. Beachwood leads by 21. John Wisher puts Coyle in motion. Takes the snap and drops back. Looking pass all the way. Dumps it out there to Wolfick. A little screen pass out to the right. And he takes it to the 49-yard line. I tell you, I believe we could have had another hold right there as Dustin Holland was taken down again. They're lined up that way as they have Wolfick way back as if to pass. The 30, he's standing on the 38-yard line. Ben Howard back for the Panthers. He's standing on the 20 and backs up to the 17. He was blocked. Gets in. one off, and Howard will back up to the 10-yard line. Call for the fair catch. Well, in the two-minute drill we saw in the last series, they certainly can cover 90 yards in two minutes with the passing game. Doug Powers gives the handoff to Brent Coleman, I do believe, and he'll get a little they're going to give Coleman about two yards on the carry. Mike Bill showing. They have a two-back set now. There's the snap. The handoff to Brent Coleman right in the middle, and he's stacked up in there after he gets another yard or so. That will bring up third out of the huddle. Ben Coleman goes to the left. They're showing the wishbone again. Fumble. Snap fumble on the exchange, and Doug Powers to fall on the ball very quickly. Beachwood says they got it. Beachwood has the ball first and 10 at the Panther 
13 yard line. This is the 13 Frosty. First and 10 Tigers on the Pikeville 13 yard line of the second turnover of the night. Pikeville takes the time. Pikeville takes the time to be exact. First and 10. Beachwood up on the line now. John Wisher, the quarterback, takes the snap. Keeps it himself, right side. He'll get down in there, close to the goal line. The players hold their hands up to signal touchdown, but the officials don't. They're on the five yard line instead of the goal line. I think the Beachwood players even got confused. That was an inside reverse that time by Beachwood too, so they spot it right. The huddle now to move up on the ball. All the coaches scramble from the field quickly. Wisher with the snap, second man. He tries the right side. I believe that was John Bishop. The fullback. Yes, it was. Bonded. He's got it to do again. 25 seconds. There's the snap. There's the handoff to Wolfick. He dives into the middle of the line. I believe they're going to stop the clock to look at the measurement. Yeah, they got it. They're ready to go, too. They're not even huddling. It's a first down. Yeah, it's a first down inside the, what, two-yard line? Yeah, he might just ground it here. They're ready to go. Beachwood on the snap. There's the handoff to Wolfick again, right side. And the Panthers seem to think they've held, and they have. They have held them. The clock is running. Six seconds to go. Beachwood very quickly into the oh, He's got to be in motion. Somebody's got to be moving there. There were three people moving. Seven-tenths of a second. And the clock is, they do not have a timeout left. And the coach went out into the huddle. They're, they're, here there we go. There you go. Yeah, been hollering. About time. Finally, the official gets talked into a flag, and it may end up on the five of coaches, but. Uh, Unsportsmanlike well, conduct thank you. on the Tigers. Well, a lot of the fans behind me were hollering for that one, and I don't know if it, it took a long time to register, but here comes the field goal unit, Andrew. Is that back from up 15? Well, he kicked, uh, Wolf had kicked a 37-yarder last week against Dayton to win range. He has the ball right on the 25. That's the spot. Left-footed kicker. Not many of those around. It hits up, and it is good. Seven-tenths of a second left to the first half. And the Tigers have kicked a 35-yard field. You're listening to the State High School semifinals in Class A on WPKE. Here and uh, have him barred from these premises. Derek Blinkenhart will kick the ball off for the men's corner located in the Weddington Square. For the finest in men's apparel, it's the men's corner. The ball goes to Scott Coyle. Can't get a handle, but he picks it up on the 15-yard line and comes out of there. Brings it all the way out to the 40, 45. Fumble. They can't bring Fumble. it down. Fumble on the play. Michael's got it. We'll see. They have it indicated at first down Panthers. No, 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 no. Not that was they Look haven't like decided Beachwood. yet. Look like baseball has got a guy. One arm waving, and he was waving in the Panthers' direction. We'll see here. There was a Bible guy, the first one to it. If he, if yeah. he doesn't have it, a Beachwood player took it away from him. He could hang yeah, on the ball. A big pile up at midfield. They're it, trying to unthread them. It's a wrestling match. And they're going to say Beachwood had the ball. They'll give the ball to Beachwood. First to ten, Tigers. That's their only need. Didn't happen. Beachwood first and ten. First and ten. Tigers at their own 42. They're in the power eye. There's the handoff to Brian Bishop. Left side. He'll get it out across the 45. And they'll mark it down at the 46-yard line. I think Beachwood's going to throw guys when they had the lead. They did not throw a pass the entire second half. Second down and six. Wisher with the snap. Gives it to the first man through. That was Wolfick. He gets it across the 50-yard line. Not enough for the first down. They'll mark it down at the 49-yard line. Third and one. Beachwood in the power eye. There's the snap. There's the handoff to John Bishop right up the middle for the first down. About three yards on the carry for John Bishop. He'll pick up the first down. Get the ball very many times, but he's the short yardage man and good for the first down. There's Wisher with a handoff to Brian Bishop. Left side across the 40-yard line. He's down inside the 40. They'll mark it down at the 30, 39. Back. Second down, two yards to go. Beachwood goes set. There's that first short yardage man, John Bishop. And he'll twist and turn across the middle of the line. And we'll check the spot here. They'll check the spot. And it is. First down, Tigers. Football, it will. Another very steady, very methodical drive by the Tigers. 
There's the pitch back to Brian Bishop, and he's hit in the backfield. Big defensive play back there by Matt Daher. He wrestles Bishop down and out of bounds. I'm sure that's an adjustment they made at halftime. Beachwood showing the wishbone formation now. There's the snap, the handoff, and uh, in reverse. Reverse to number 12 around the left side. He'll go across the 40-yard line before he's chased out of bounds. Joey List, first time we've seen him tonight. He's an end. He's a big end, too. He's a big tight end. What they list him at? Uh, 6'3", 240, so he's a big young man. He'll line up tight end on the left now. They'll split a man wide to the right. There's the snap. Hand off to Brian Bishop on the left, and he's going to get the first down before he's knocked out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. Now, he didn't go out of bounds, but they'll stop the clock there to move the chain. Another uh -uh. Bardstown, uh -uh. Bardstown had speed, not this kind of power up front. Wisher with the snap gives it to Josh Bishop. I called him John Bishop all night, but Josh Bishop. The big 43, and he drives up out of there across the 20 yard line again. Wisher under center. Snap pitches the ball back to Brian Bishop, left side. He's got some yardage there, probably two, three yards on the play. Doug Powers in at a uh, free safety came up to make the stop. Looks like a pickup on uh, Bishop. I'm Third sorry. and four at the 11. John Wisher sets the line, takes the snap. Gives it to Josh Bishop, and he'll drive up out of there. Was Did he get the first down, Frosty? Well, it's all going to depend on the spot. It looks like uh, they're going to be right at the, their spotting spot. right on the first down marker. Needed to get to about the 17-yard line, and uh, that's just about where the football is right now. They're going to have to measure this one. Awful close. It uh, looks like he might just be a, t a tad short, but it's really too close to tell. They'll bring the chains in from the sidelines here, and... It down. It's going to be a little bit short, Randy, but, uh, you know, Power's making the tackle to play earlier, and, and we've seen way too much of that here this quarter. They're deep in Pikeville territory and threatening once again. Snap, and it's quarterback sneak, and that should be enough. He got about two big leg kicks into the middle of the line, right behind the center. It's, it's that easy to pick up a couple yards. Well, that makes it first and ten. They could get a first down on about the one-inch line. There's the handoff to Bishop. Left side, I believe they held him that time. Maybe might have gotten a little bit. It looked from here, because we're looking directly behind them. Actually, and 11. Beachwood goes set. There's the snap. That was the handoff to the right side, and he's dropped for a loss again. I believe Brian Stone got him that time, and that was Adam Wolfick. I do believe Brian Stone that time was a stop for the Panthers. Wisher looking to the left has two receivers and a flanker to the left, and he throws it to the flanker. That's Bishop out of there for some yardage. That was a screen play. He stood behind the line of scrimmage, took the pass, and drove straight ahead using the two wideouts as block from the five. both ways. There's the snap. Look at the pass right down the middle of the field, and it's broken up. Flag on the play. And there's a flag down on the play. A light flag. Looks like Derek Deskins may have tipped the pass as it went across the line. The ball was tipped, though. If so. the ball's tipped, you have no interference. That's right. You can't call interference if the ball's tipped. But we'll see what they call. Gonna, I believe they're going to weigh this one off. They're talking about this too much. Scrimmage was the five-yard line. It was tipped as it went across the line. I believe Derek Deskins got up to bat the ball. And if they call pass interference, uh, I think they had a notion, but uh, no, they're waving it off. That's right. They got together, talked it over, and did as they fell back in the game. Be a nice time for a big Brent Coleman run. We'll see. Pikeville in the wishbone with a man split wide to the left. There's the snap and the handoff. Brent Coleman to the, I'm sorry, Todd McCoy to the left side, out across the five-yard line, maybe a yard. Defense. Second and nine at the six. Powers under center takes the snap 
Hands the ball off right in the... No, he camp it. Drop back to pass. Has Josh Justice downfield. There's a flag. And he there was comes. tripped there. That's the call. He was tripped up going for the ball. Brian Bishop got out there and took his legs out from under him at the 48-yard line. <laughs> well, we got a flag that came from the official across the field, not the guy that was directly into it, really playing good pass defense. First and 10 at the 20 for the Panthers. They're in the wishbone. There's the snap. There's the handoff to the fullback, Chad Newsom. He'll get it out to the 22-yard line. 20. Well, make it to 23. A three-yard gain for Chad Newsom to bring the play in. 3.55. They go into third quarter. Pike fell down by 24. Doug Powers with the snap. Keeps it. Pitches it out to Brent Coleman around the outside. And there he goes. Out to the 30-yard line. He'll be dropped at the... I will see if the spot's the 29 or the 30. It'll still be short of the first down. Do you throw it or what? The way you... You've had trouble running the football. All on the 28. They need just across the 30. And uh, Doug Powers with the stutter count, and somebody moved. We'll see if he drew the Tigers offside. If he did. He did. He sure did. It'll be first down Panfield. It's been irrelevant. Go down the field, 40 and back up, five. Doug Powers with the snap. He's back to pass. Looking down the middle of the field. Looking at Seth McCoy in the middle of the field. McCoy was... Mike Bill with a double slot formation. Two wide outs, a single setback. That's Brent Coleman. Todd McCoy goes in motion. And Powers is off to the left. Their man jumped off sides down there. He's looking for Josh Justice. Intercepted. Intercepted by Scott Coyle, and there's a flag on the play. It was on Pikeville. Somebody jumped completely off sides on the left side, and I believe one of the split men moved it forward to Withers' possession of the ball and moves it. Beachwood on one play out across the 45 to the 47 yard line. Somebody hurt here. Uh, Brian saw him slow getting up. He's okay now. His arm was yeah, very near the 48-yard line. There's the step. There's the handoff to Wolfing. And he will be just short of the first down. He gets the ball into Pikeville territory. They'll mark it down. And the time he hits the line of scrimmage. There's the snap. There's the handoff to Wolfick again. There's the first down. He'll move the ball to the 42-yard line. The first down and three yards change for the Tigers. 130. I think they're going to show some life. Wishbone formation for the Tigers. John Wisher, the quarterback. There's the snap. And the handoff. Josh Bishop. Off left guard. And he moves the ball to the third. Beachwood out of the huddle once again. Wishbone formation. There's the handoff to Brian Bishop. Left side, first down and more. Across the 30, 25. Riding him like a bull and can't bring him down. Doug Powers was riding him piggyback. Rode him down to the 20, possibly the 19-yard line. 18-yard line. Beachwood, wishbone formation. Both ends tight. And officials time out here. They blow the whistles. Working on Brent Coleman's chin strap. He need to snap it. And with 10 seconds showing. Wisher, through center. Snap, handoff to Josh Bishop right down the middle of the field. Bowling over Pikeville Panthers. Finally brought down by Seth McCoy. That's the end of the third quarter. The end of the third quarter. Beachwood. 12-yard line. Wishers under center. Gives the ball to Brian Bishop, and he's tripped in the backfield. Andy Davis got an arm out, got him spinning around, and he was finished off in there by Jared Michael. 11.28 to go in the ball game. John Wisher sets the team. Takes the snap. Hands the ball to Brian. It was Coyle. It's Scott Coyle and Coyle into the end zone for the touchdown. 
at 11-17 to go in the ball game. I thought he gave the ball to Bishop, handed the ball to Scott Coyle as he went by. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, that was that little yeah. that was that was little uh, inside reverse that time from Beachwood. They ran it in a similar situation earlier. It's worked well. It's, uh, it's had great blocking on the play as well. And Adam Wolfick will kick for the extra point. There's the snap, puts it down, up, and it's good. 11 minutes and 17 seconds left to go. It's Beachwood 31, Pike. both ways, flankers both ways. Doug Powers in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks downfield, has Josh Justice at the 45-yard line, and the flags fly immediately. He was covered by Brad Thoth, and the flag flew right away. It was a clean play on the receiver, Justice, but there was a guy right in front of him, I believe it was uh, McCoy that a uh, little bit of fish was shoving before the ball got there. And, you know, Although we was not going to like it, they just saw what happened on the play where the ball was, but right about five yards in front of it, a little bit of holding fishing going on. I'm glad you saw it. Oh. And it was on Pikeville. They make the call on Pikeville. They started to step it off against the Tigers, and the official said, uh-uh. Offensive pass interference, so they'll step it the other way. They started at the 39, and they're going to wind up to 24. There was some second down, 25 on the 24-yard line. 11:07. Doug Powers in the shotgun takes the snap, rolls to his right. Pretty good protection, but it breaks down. He hits Jason England on the 36-yard line. England able to get to the 40-yard line before he's covered by half minutes left in this game. Pikeville down 31. Doug Powers in the shotgun takes the snap, rolls to his left, looks downfield, and it's intercepted. Brian Bishop intercepted the ball on the 45-yard line. Beachwood has the ball. Powers is hurt. He really took his shot. Powers took a load back there, but he's going to get up. Beachwood with the ball. They're in the wishbone. Both ends tight. Snap. Hand off to Wolfing. Across the line of scrimmage. He'll get to about the 30, 39. Give him two yards. Second down. Eight yards to go. Second at eight, Beachwood with the ball. You know they're going to keep it on the ground. There's the handoff to Brian Bishop. Left side, he's dragged down by Todd McCoy. Matt Dawhair hit on the play as well. And he'll get a lot of clock. What a well-coached football team. What a strong line. They've got the package. John Wisher with the snap. First man. That was Josh Bishop. He was slung to the ground, and the ball flew loose. The ground caused that one. He, that one didn't come loose until he hit the ground. And they'll give the ball back to him. By the official. Been a pretty good call game so far tonight. It really has. Frosty fourth and four at the 35. There's the snap. Hand off to Brian Bishop. Flags fly. He's trying the left side. Everybody trying to arm tackle down the right side oh, gee, of the line yeah. all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers, but there's a flag down at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, this Procedure on Beachwood. They'll bring that one back. It should come back for another one. Doug Powers just got hit directly in the back, in the shoulder blade that he was holding earlier. Nobody saw it because the official had already headed up field. Doug's hurt. He's they, still need to, they need to get him out of there. Yeah. Yeah, basketball, he's too important to this basketball team. They need to bring him out of there. He's playing on this game. They're going to punt. Adam Wolfick is back, lined up for the Tigers to punt. Ben Howard will stand on about the seven-yard line. Start backpedaling. And there's the snap and the kick, and Jeremy Anderson just leveled Wolfick, and they throw the flag, as they should have. And that's going to it back they downed ben howard on very near the goal line but that one's going to powers left arm is hanging limp his shoulder is injured he's going to stay in the game there's the snap there's the handoff to brian bishop left side of the line he'll just grind it down across the 25 yard line 
was a first down there. I thought the way Doug Powers had his right hand wrapped over under his left arm. Yeah, there. There's Beachwood with the snap. John Wisher hands the ball to Brian Bishop. Man, he took a lick in there. Brent Coleman gave him one, along with Derek Deskins. Brian Holland, go ahead, Frosty. It looks like Deskins is down right now, but I tell you, that's it's the next stop. Beachwood leads this one by 31, 6.56 in the game. John Wisher, the snap. That was Josh Bishop right up the middle. And he's still on his feet as he goes all the way down across the 15-yard line. That'll be a first down for the Tigers. Overdue. Glad to see him on the sidelines. He's had a great season. He's raising the arm up and down on the sidelines there. There's the handoff to Josh Bishop. He keeps pulling his way on down to the end zone. And he'll be stopped on the, what, five? Frosty inside the five? Yeah, inside the five. Gonna, actually going to be uh, a body. Pittsburgh Mayfield game. Harrisburg was leading that earlier, 7-0. Hopefully we can update that for the Beachwood fans before this ball game ends. 5.39 to go in the game now. Prove a point here, I don't know. John Wisher sets the team, takes the staff, drives the ball into the end zone, touchdown Tigers. 5.02 left to go in the football game. Beachwood 31, I'm sorry, 37. Mike Bill nothing. Adam Wolfick on the field, the left-footed kicker. Kick for the extra point. Jason Haynes. And don't forget his uh, two touchdown runs as well. How could you? There's the snap. Well, momentarily. Pikeville jumps off sides. Unless they say they were drawn off. I don't know. They were taking a lot of time with the snap count there. Wolfick, a real nice high school football player. Only a junior again. 6'3", 185, and he uh, he uses every ounce of it. Well, cruising off sides against Pikeville. Hey, they've got a, a few juniors on this team that can play number 62. I believe Zellin, he's a junior. He is he has dominated on defense, the middle linebacker. Wolfick, a junior. There's the kick, and it's good. Five minutes, two seconds left to go in the game. Beachwood 38, Pikeville. Second down and inches to go. Snap. Powers drops back to pass. Looks down, has Jason England on the 43-yard line. He's out across the 50-yard line. Doug Powers to Jason England, and Doug Powers just took another shot back there. I mean, he's a, he's a senior, but he's got a white shirt on. He hasn't played much tonight. Under four minutes now. Doug Powers back to pass. Looks downfield. Has Ben Coleman. Ben Coleman down there, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted, brought up across the 30-yard line. 35, 40, out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. The, the interception by number eight, and I don't believe we have one on our roster. A little bit of extracurricular activity down there as the play ended up right in the middle of the Pikeville flag on the play. Uh, we'll see what happens with this one. Don't move nothing yet, but uh, guess what? The chains have already moved. Yeah, I believe Frosty turned his mic off, and that is some major noise here. 3.43 to go in this football game. 38 to nothing. Beachwood leads this one. They step the penalty off against the Tigers. We first down Panthers at 
the Beachwood 40 yard. I think the official over there is the biggest reason for that. <laughs> he, there's Powers back to pass. Looks out to his left. Throws the screen pass to Brent Coleman. He's out across the 35 down to the 30 yard line. Flag on the play in the area of holding against the Panthers. And we'll see. They'll bring this one back. It is personal foul on Pikeville. <laughs> Well, that flag came up. First down and forever. 25. First down and 23 is Frosty. It's a U.S. 23. Doug Powers with the snap. Back to pass under pressure. Intercepted. And it's intercepted at the 48-yard line by somebody, Josh Morris. The Beachwood Tigers. Now we've got the discussion going on again. We had another tip pass, and it was picked off by Beachwood. Now the flag comes in. They're going to call pass interference, I believe. I think the flag was some well. Oh, that flag came a minute and a half after the play was over. No surprise out of what was Good Tigers first and ten on their own 48. With the snap. First man right up the middle is dragged down after he gains about five yards. Make it, we'll check the spot. Five, four, whatever. And that was number 30. Three minutes. Beachwood with the ball. Second and five. The big lead. They're in the wishbone. There's the snap right up the middle. Looks like Morris again coming from the fullback position. And he'll get a couple more. More of three. And they'll be going on to play on the carpet.